Hey everyone, hope you are doing great. Welcome back to my channel Pega Hut with another video. Thanks everyone who subscribed to my channel and requested for me a topic to cover. Based on a request, I am going to show you today how to use repeating dynamic layout. I would start with a question. When we are supposed to use the repeating dynamic layout? And the answer to that is when you have a data in a page list or a page group, then you would use a repeating dynamic layout to show those data in the section. Now let's take a use case to achieve that repeating dynamic layout. Let's say in our use case, we are going to enter the account number and based on that account number, we are going to fetch the list of customer that associated to that account number. So as you know, an account can be a joint account or a single account. If it is a joint account, it will have more than one customer associated to, uh, with that. So to achieve that, we can use the dynam uh, repeating dynamic layout to show that on the section. Now, without doing further delay, let's straight away jump into the practical mode. So what I'll do is I'll log in first. So what I have done is I've actually created certain data just to make uh, this video short. So if you see, I've actually created a case type called account and that account uh, case type has got just one flow, which is called so account data and a, si a single step, which has got so account details. Now, this is the step which I have created a section as well. So if I will go to the uh, class explorer and show you this class and I'll show you what all I have created. So if uh, so, basically I have created a property called account number up front. And also what I have done is I have created a section called uh, uh, so account detail and that section I have placed that property now, uh, which is account number. Also, I have created a data class of customer data class of customer so in that data class customer i have created properties like uh, date of birth full name gender id number and id type uh, th that's all i have created so the idea here is if i uh, uh, basically if i will run and show, show it to you the idea here is if I will give account number as one, two, three or any account number and let's consider it's a joint account, it will go and try to fetch the list of customer associated to that account and it will show on the screen. That's the use case which I have told you before. Now to achieve that, the first thing which we need to do is first create a page list property which will store those customer details, right? Now let's uh, create a page list. Uh, so I'll go to the account class. Okay. Now let's create a page list property. I can create uh, directly create data model, create a property. I will name that as a customer list details. Let's say. Now uh, I'll put that in account uh, uh, class and then uh, I'll just go ahead and create. Here in instead of text property, I'll change it to page list. Now, as you know that if I change it to page list, it will ask me a data class. So I told before that I've already created a data class. So I'll just choose the same data class that I have created. That is XYZ hyphen PZ hut hyphen data hyphen customer. And uh, once I save this, so I'll just quickly show you uh, about the data model being created here. Now here, if you see the customer list detail data model has already been created our page list has already been created, which has got all the property that I have, uh, you know, kept in the data hyphen customer. Now one part is done. Now let's try to, um, you know, uh, source the data and uh, set those data into the customer detail. So to do that, what the idea behind is if I get like I told if I give one, two, three, and tab out or uh, you know uh, click on outside so i want the customer detail to be shown by you know uh, sourcing in in the back end so to source in back end obviously i do not have a uh, you know back end right so i am going to hard code for this session because the session is mainly for repeating dynamic layout i am going to hard code that now to do that what i'll do is i'll go to action of account number i click double click on account number um, field i'll go to action here I'll add an event called change because I need to change and that's where I need uh, this event to be triggered and the action is refresh. Now when you uh, uh, click on the refresh action, it has a uh, uh, placeholder for calling a data transform. Now here I will call as fetch customer detail data transform, right? Now if I click on this crosshair, which will help me to create this data transform as the data transform, if the data transform exists, 
then it will open that but because it's a new one i'm going to create this data transform and first i'll choose comment i'll just to save this so that i'll go back to the section i'll submit this and save it so that i'll not i'll not forget it later on now come back to the data transform here what i'll do is i'll put a when condition in the when condition i will use this uh, field as a when condition let's let's say if i say if account number equal to equal to one two three then you set the data now how you set the data you set the data in the page list now to set the data in page list here i'm going to hard code right so there are two options that i can create uh, i mean to set the data in page list there are two options that you can potentially go for one is append to another one is append and map to now what is the difference between append to and append and map to so if you see append to it asks me as a uh, um, to choose a page list now if i choose a page list you see you can either create a new page or copy from an existing page or from a source page or for each page in right now because it's a page list but here what i was uh, going to do is i'm going to hard code this individual field right as i do not have a source to get so because of that i need to go to append and map to because that will allow me to hard code those field so here i'm going to go ahead with a new page and i'm going to uh, put all the uh, field first and then i'm going to hard code something now full name gender id number id type right okay now here date of birth let me put like uh, 1902 1987 and let me put the uh, uh, customer full name as john smith like i told i'm going to hard code that uh, gender here i got one extra dot gender let me put mail id number let me put one two three four five six id type let me put passport okay now here i've got uh, one customer list detail right now let me check out and save it now the okay what this is going to do is this is go, uh, going to add a customer detail i mean basically add this list to customer details first iteration now let me copy the same uh, entire customer detail section and let me paste below here so uh, yeah the whole idea is I'm, I'm also showing you how to smartly you know do uh, uh, things in in a very shortcut way so because i've copy and pasted so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to let's say uh, here 19 i'll put a 18 and uh, let's say march and 1989 here i will update this to let's say ivana is the another customer or another account holder in for that account here i'll say uh, female and then here I'll say 9874654 something and I'll keep the passport. So I save this one. Now what does Pega do? For people who are new uh, about the concept about page list and who doesn't know. So basically what it will do this data transform. If I give the customer uh, number is 123. When it comes and try to execute this 1.1. 1 .1, it will basically add an entry customer detail one and it will uh, you know add all the entry to that particular iteration now once it reaches to the second uh, uh, append and map to it will add to the another entry which is two so similarly as many as append and map to you put basically it will keep incrementing the number the index and eventually gonna uh, push all the details to that particular index so now what i'll do is i'll save that and I will also create a otherwise condition. So again, I'm going to copy the entire thing. I'm going to paste it below. And now here I will make a otherwise condition where I do not need to uh, give any condition here. If I give one, two, three, this will execute anything I give apart from one, two, three will be executed at the bottom. So here what I'm going to do is I'll just consider this as a, a single account holder. Unlike this one, which has got a joint account holder. And I'm going to just change uh, the date, something like 13 February uh, 1997. Uh, and here I'll say, let's say, uh, you know, John Smith, I'll put probably uh, Sri Mishra or something. And then here I'll put mail, I'll put 1256789, something like that. And passport, I'll save it, right? So now I've got uh, the data transform set. 
Now I'll just show you how this data transform works and how the data model has been formed so that you would understand that first and then I'm going to go to repeating dynamic layout and show. Now before that, so I'll do a save and run and also once that uh, section will come into picture, I will turn on the tracer. Now let's, okay, now I can see that. Now I'm, I have turned on the tracer just to show you. Now here, I'm going to put one, two, three. Now when I tab, what tab out, uh, what happened is in the background, so if I'll uh, show you this fetch customer detail, you see whatever we have written, right? Now account number I've given one, two, three. So because of that, it got true. Now you see there are two appendant map, right? Appendant map to first customer detail, appendant map to second customer detail. Now if I hover anywhere, so you could see whatever I was just telling. So it created an index called one and it has inserted all the details to for that particular index. Now, after I finish all the settings and all, if I click on this one, you see in PY workspace customer detail one, it has inserted all the value. Now, similarly for the other appendant map two, you see there will be two, right? Now you could see, now if I click on this, PY workspace customer detail two, it has inserted all the detail for Ivana. Now, after finish everything, if I open the PY workspace, so what I'll do is, uh, what I'll show is customer detail one has got John Smith detail, customer detail two has got Ivana detail. So that's how a page list will look like for people who are new. I'll also show you in the clipboard here if I go, uh, I'll go to PY work page and here in the customer detail, customer detail one has got John Smith detail, customer detail two has got Ivana detail, right? So I hope uh, up to that this point, it is all clear, right? Now coming back to the repeating dynamic cloud. Before that, I just wanted to do another thing because every time I wanted to uh, 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 calculate the account because I'm hard coding here, I, I wanted to calculate that account freshly. So I'm going to uh, remove the customer detail uh, so that every time it will remove and uh, you know do a fresh calculation and based on that it will either put John Smith or Ivana, uh, John Smith and Ivana or Srimistra. So depending on that, so that's why I need to remove that which is done. Now, uh, let's straight away go to the section part. Now, now let's go to the repeating dynamic route. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag a repeating dynamic route and put that into the section. Now, if I put that, so what I'll do is here, I'll be choosing the uh, uh, list or page list which we have created that is called customer list detail, right? Here, I'll just put a header called customer detail, right? Now I'll submit. Now you see here, right? So the source we have defined as customer list detail and the source, uh, the customer list detail, if I open, it has got a page definition called XYZ page PZ hot data hyphen customer. That's the same thing over here is shown. So customer detail of class XYZ PZ hot data hyphen customer. Now what, so if you see drop a single section, right? So basically it expect you to drop a section which belongs to this class. Now I'll just show you now, to drop a section, you need to go to embedded section and drag and drop exactly over here. The moment you do that, right? So if you see the context of the class has changed to the context that this page list belongs to. Now the page list, although the page list belongs to a work class, the page definition of page list is data hyphen customer. Now it expect me to create a section in the particular level, right? Now it, because I haven't created anything, that's why you can't see any section. Now to achieve repeating dynamic layout, I need to stop, uh, pause here and I need to go and first create a section. Okay, now let me create a section. Now where should I create a section? I should be creating, created, creating a section in the data hyphen customer layer. Now in the data hyphen customer layer, let's straight away go and create a section first. So create a uh, user interface uh, section. Let me name this section as, uh, customer details, right? Now, if you see the class is data hyphen customer, this is very important. Now I've created this section and what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to convert to full section editor and I am going to uh, bring one text input. Okay. And let me, because if you see the data model, I have got five properties. So let me copy, uh, you, you do right click copy and uh, right click uh, paste or control C and control V. 
so let me copy and uh, paste for five iteration so i've got five iteration let me put one by one uh, property so if i go uh, double click on that text property and uh, choose dov for the first and then uh, choose full name for the second choose gender for the third choose id type for the fourth choose id number for the fifth choose id number for the fifth right now here to look at a little um, good what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to uh, because the customer detail is going to be read only first of all i'm going to make it a read only and also here i will choose a uh, uh, there is a uh, otb simple list with level left just so that it will come as left and right and i'll go ahead and in the presentation tab of every property i'll go go ahead and make it read only always so that it will show as a read only property because that's the whole idea because i'm fetching it right i'm not letting a user to uh, input the data hence i'm going to make it read only uh, last one okay now my section is all good right now what because i have got the section now if i go here again to drag the section what I'll, i should do i should go to embedded section and drag exactly the point where it's asking it uh, me to drop a single section now here because i have created that now i can see the section in the data hyphen customer uh, class so now i'll choose customer detail and i'll submit you would see the exact thing came over here right now here i have name that is customer detail let me save it so basically what it does so basically it took your uh, source as a page list and then it created a section inside that page list data class as you know page list will always refer to a data class and then uh, depending on the record uh, in 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 the clipboard as you could see uh, we got two records right for this particular we got uh, two customer so i don't uh, let me open that customer i've got two customer so basically i don't need to create this section again and again so i've just given this reference as a page list it will automatically know okay i've got two iteration it will show me those two iteration so let's let's test that and uh, see if it uh, works let me create a fresh case because i've done a uh, change to the section right now if i go save and run like based on our data transform we have told if i give one two three then be that belongs to joint account so let me put one two three first so if i go one two three if i tab out you see there are two uh, uh, layer which has already created because we have used the repeating dynamic layout so i don't need to you know uh, create one section for each instead i just created one section using uh, repeating dynamic layout i could get uh, i could able to see all the details now if i put any other number apart from 1 2 3 it will give me a single customer right which whatever we have fetched i hope you are now clear about the concept on how to use repeating dynamic layout and hopefully this video will help you in future please do leave me a comment or email me if you want me to cover another unique concept do share with your friends who is learning pega or don't know about this so that they can also be benefited remember sharing is caring like i always tell and for more concept and videos please do like and subscribe to my channel see you in next video